have a lot of two by four. So this helps out with getting it up to the proper height that I want it. Super squeaky. That's how I know it works. Those babies are breaking, huh? Stress cracks. It ain't going nowhere though. Safety first. I just need to get to this bad boy. Let's see my bucket though. Some coolant. Looks nasty. Maybe at the recorder. The recorders was it. I love the fact that it's not super torqued. Don't want to take it all the way out. Soak City. All right, so I drained out the coolant. It's over here. Missing my seven eighths. Won't call no one out. You know who you are. Time to take the rest apart. Probably gonna take off this guy. Yeah. Put on this cap. Something crazy falls in. All right. First things first. Unplug this guy. Ten or an eight. I like using the quarter drives for those. Paper towels, probably go get this guy can come off for now, and then this guy can come off and slide and push it back. Oh, I also have put new motor mounts, at least these two one, two, three, and four were cool. What size are you 12? Mm hmm. this bad boy off oh there it goes there it goes there it goes <laughs> well. See the difference in the way this guy is open. We'll come back to closed. Looks kind of different, huh? But it should work. So real simple. Attach your gasket. So if your thermostat has a jiggle pin, aka check valve, air release valve, bleeder valve, whatever, you want this guy facing up. Of course it's installed in a vertical position, like this. I'm going to clean this guy out with a wire brush real quick. Again, I'm using a brass wire brush for this aluminum housing. Seems pretty good. Where's that bucket? Getting it small clean up around the median surfaces. <clears throat> it's time to install this thing. And when I'm installing it, just making sure to put some some of this here. Petroleum jelly. 100 percent pure. 
Walmart brand. Always the best. Cheap in quality. Tell you Walmart. I don't know how you do it. But man. I love Equate. It's the business. Alright, so let's finish installing this sucker. That seems pretty healthy. Again, wiggle pin up. Does that look about... It's about the 12 right there. <clears throat> That'll do. Kind of lined it up with this guy right here. It's fine. This one on the top. It's prettier. I guess I could check the um, torque specs on that sucker. Whoa. Going crazy. Engine cooling, engine cooling. A ver, thermostate. Mira nomás, 14, 15. Let's look it up. 15 foot pounds to inch pounds, 180. 75, 180. Bada bing, bada boom. Put this guy away. Alright, thermostat's complete. I'm just gonna pressure wash this guy down. Pepper, you ready? Come on, get inside. You're gonna go crazy. You know not to drink this stuff, right? Here, let me put this away. So I've been wanting a pressure washer for a while. Finally got... Maybe a decent one, that's what I'm about to find out. This Craftsman, 2100 PSI. We'll see how good of a job it does, I guess. Let's turn this bad boy on. Guessing, hey, we're ready here. Yeah, all right, let's see what's up. <clears throat> Now who knows how long this car has never had a car wash. I never washed it. It seemed like that car has been down for, when I bought it, for a good minute. I will be using the soap dispenser on this thing. It comes with like a soap tank. I don't know if I mentioned that this is a 25 degree nozzle. So it still has, what do we have here? A 15 degree and a turbo and the soap. So turbo is supposed to be, I guess, abrasive, super freaking crazy. 15 is if you really want to get some grit off. This is just for cleaning purposes. I'm trying to freaking kill the car. Years of dirt and filth. I'll do the bottom side real quick. Looks good, I like it. I dig it.
All right, so I used some compressed air to kind of get most of the water off. I mean, overall, not bad, not bad. Probably gonna keep that pressure washer, throw away the box, so it was 200 bucks. I had it on the 25 degree nozzle just for cleaning and it did a superb job. Now, probably gonna put the intake system back on so I could warm it up and see if that thermostat is the issue. But let me get her put together. Alright, see if it warms up. Alright, so we can see that it is heating up. Alright, so just to keep everyone updated. I've taken out some of the interior. I started vacuuming it and right now I'm just gonna finish vacuuming this side so that I can start taking off this headliner up here so that I can sort this sunroof thing out. And once that's done, I'll focus on taking out this door panel. Reason being, I want to be able to get first off to the tent, and then second off, the regulator in here is bad, so I have to go ahead and replace that motor. But I want to take that out first, just to kind of get a look at it, to see how hard it is to get out, so that when I go to the junkyard, I already know what to take with me with tools, so I don't have to carry a bunch of stuff. It's looking good though. The trunk that smelled like booty, that, I've been letting it air out. I'm probably gonna go buy some of those cherry bombs, like that spray, that scented spray. That one spray and psh, takes care of everything. So, gonna try to get that guy. I went to Walmart, they were out. Be taking off these tail lights. I bought some vivid tint to give it somewhat of a smoke type of look, but not too smoky where it calls the attention to cause, but barely like a tint on it, just so it's not that ricer look. Anyways, and I wanna touch up this wing, probably not gonna get to it today. Just gonna focus on the things I mentioned in here. Sunroof, door card, before I try to get crazy. All right, let me get to work on this.